Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve the first question which is based on the combination of two figures. Here, a toy is in a form of a cone of radius 3.5 mounted on a hemisphere of same radius. The total height of the toy is 15.5 cm. Find the total surface area of the toy. Here, there is obviously the combination of two figures. The one is hemisphere and the second is cone. And here, here you have to find the total surface area of this toy. Now, in this case, a cone is mounted on a hemisphere. Means, there is a hemisphere. This is half of a sphere. And there is a cone mounted on this hemisphere. Means, there is a cone which is placed on this hemisphere and the radius of this cone is same as the radius of this hemisphere. Now, if the radius of this is 3.5 centimeter, obviously this radius will also be equal to 3.5 centimeter and in this case, you have to find the total surface area of this toy. Again, I have already discussed that total surface area means the surface area that is visible to you of this toy and again in this this surface area is not visible to you because this surface area is covered by this uh, this both toys so this surface area is not visible to you only this curved surface area and this curved surface area is visible to you so if you want to find the total surface area of this toy for that the formula will become the curved surface area of cone plus the curved surface area of hemisphere. So this will be the formula. The curved surface area of a cone is pi r l and the curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r square. And because the r are same, now pi and r can be taken common. One thing is important, don't solve these two separately. In that case, you would, uh, in that case, you have, you will be solving r two times, here also and here also. Instead, what you can do is, you can take pi r common. And from this, if pi r is taken common, only l will remain here. And here, 2 r will remain. Because from pi r square, if pi is taken out, 1 r is taken out, only 2 r will remain. In this case, only you will be solving r one times. So this is the complete formula. Now, pi we know that, pi, the value of pi is 22 upon 7. Radius is given to you 3.5. You need to find out the L, which is the slant height for the cone. And you need to find this slant height. For that, the total height of the core toy is given to you as 15.5. This is the total height. This is given to you as uh, from this point to this point this is given 15.5 centimeter and out of out of this complete this is obviously the radius which is 3.5 so the remaining height will be 15.5 minus this 3.5 so this will be equals to 12 so in this cone if you want to find the slant height we have to use the pythagoras theorem where this Height is given to you as 12, which is the perpendicular. Base is given to you as 3.5. So using Pythagoras theorem, you can find this L. Now, for that, Pythagoras says the L square, which is the hypotenuse, will be equal to the perpendicular square plus base square. And L square, the perpendicular is given to you as 12. This will be 12 square. And base is given to you as 3.5 square. Now, the 12 square means 12 into 12, which is 144 plus. Now, you have to find out the square of 35. Okay. If you want to find the square of the number, the last digit of which is 5. For that, if you want to find the square of 15, the last digit is 5. How you can find out the square of these kind of numbers? You have to square 5. This is 25. And... You have to multiply this remaining digit 
with the next natural number. So you have to multiply 1 with 2. So the square of 15 is 225. Similarly, if you want to find the square of 35, the square of 5 will be 25. And you have to multiply this 3 with the next natural number, which is 4. So this will be 12. So you have to write here 12. So this will be the square of 35. Now, because this is 3.5, so 3.5 multiplied by 3.5 will be 12.25. There will be two decimals. So this is 12.25. So here the L square will be equals to 25. This is 6. This is 5 and this is 1. So here the value of L will be equals to and root 152, sorry, 15625 upon 100. And if you further solve this, uh, this is 25 4 times and this can be cancelled 25, uh, 6. Two or uh, five times. So here the value of this L will be equal to under root 625 upon 4. Now the under root of 625 is 25 and the under root of uh, root 4 is 2. So here the slant height will be equal to 25 by 2. So here the slant height will be 25 by 2. Now if I substitute this value here this is the here the value of pi will be 22 upon 7 the radius here is 3.5 which can be written as 35 upon 10 the slant height is given to you as 25 by 2 which we have calculated here and this will be 2 multiplied by radius which is 3.5 which can be written as 35 upon 10 so this can be uh, cancelled by 5 7 times 5, 2 times, 2 can be cancelled with 2, this can be cancelled 5 times, this can be 2 times and this will be 11 times. So this will be 11 is multiplied by, this will be 25 upon 2 plus 7, this will be 11 is multiplied by, this is 25, if I take the LCM this will be 14 upon 2, inside the bracket. Now this will be 11 is multiplied by, so this will be the answer. If you further solve this, 19.5, so 11.55, 5, 99 and 5, 104, 10, So here 214.5 cm square will be the total surface area of this complete figure. So one thing is important here, if you want to find the total surface area of this, how this formula is created is important. Because, because here it is talking about total surface area, in that case you don't have to add the total surface area of cone and the total surface area of hemisphere. Then in that case the question will be, uh, will be wrong because here in total surface area this surface area which is hidden by this all uh, with this two toys is not visible to you so that won't count in total surface area so this is how you can solve this question in the next video we'll solve the another type where you need to find the volume of this particular question so this is how you can solve this question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in math you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address is given below in the description thank you